10 to 12 times a day, Chris Townsend is burdened with finger pricks that often lead to insulin injections. Stressful. <laughs> it can get stressful. He's part of a study that he hopes will one day free him of his diabetes. Insane. Like, you're just like, holy crap, like, it, it could actually be over. Chris recently had eight plastic pouches that look like this implanted under his skin. They contain stem cells that produce insulin. He posted details of the experimental procedure online, and the reaction was emotional. You're a pioneer. People telling me about their kids, that was like that struck the most. Dr. James Shapiro is cautiously optimistic. It's a first in human trial with cells that are derived from stem cells. The pouches contain millions of cells that can produce insulin when a person's blood sugar spikes and then stop when sugar levels go down. So the exact amount of insulin the body needs is provided by these cells. For now, the study is focusing on the safety of the implants. We all want it to be very cautious and make sure these cells don't transform into cells that don't make too much insulin. We don't want that to happen. Dr. Shapiro became known around the world for his work with what's called the Edmonton Protocol, where pancreatic islet cells have been able to cure the disease in some of the most sick patients. However, he says this new idea could help even more people. The remarkable thing about this treatment compared to the treatments that we're doing day by day, which is the islet cell transplant, is that patients with this won't need the lifelong anti-rejection drugs. Scientists in Edmonton and California are starting with about 40 patients. And so far it's been very, very safe and looks like it's working the way we hoped it would. Chris Townsend says the study does mean he has to take a lot of extra pills. Um, this is the anti-inflammatory and then this is TAC, uh, an anti-immunosuppressant. But the father of four says it's worth it for the fact he could be contributing to a cure. If there is something that is will make diabetes fixable, uh, at least for if any of my kids get it. They won't have to go through everything I did. Carmen Libel, CTV News, Edmonton.